And now the fifth question is find the Laplace transform of C cos AT. First of all, we need to find the Laplace transform of cos AT. So Laplace transform of cos AT is simply yes divided by your square plus a square and since here is multiplied by t so we need to uh, do the derivative so the t power is 1 t power 1 is same thing as t so here will be also n value will be also 1 so here there is first derivative because since here is 1 so so it should be first derivative if there is 2 then there should be second derivative and this power is 2. So minus power 1 is minus this minus 1 power 1 is minus and like this will be and this will be so uh, by u v rho it is v as it is it is s square plus a square and derivative of u derivative of s with respect to s is simply 1 minus s as it is and derivative of this with respect to s is 2s and a square being constant so its derivative is 0 and divided by b square that is s square plus a square the whole square now it will be your negative sign and it will be s square minus 2 s square that is minus s square and minus so minus minus plus that is s square and it is plus a square with minus sign minus a square and a square plus a square the whole square so uh, Laplace transfer of p cos a p is a square minus a square and a square plus a square the whole square 